Have you ever wondered how people are able to create awesome designs, amazing art, or just are able to materialize great ideas? Today I will show you how to unlock that creativity even though you don't think you are the creative type. And if you are the creative type, this might just help you get out of that creative rut that you've been in. What's up boys and girls, my name is Neri Jr., owner of 7FX, and today I wanna to talk to you about creativity. We all want to execute amazing projects, be it a design project, an art project, a school project, or a DIY project at home. Whatever it is, it all begins with some sort of creative idea that then leads to us going into the creative process. One thing that I learned from my professors back in the day and that I teach to my students to this day is not to be so quick to jump into any software, to jump into Photoshop or Illustrator when starting any design. I teach them that the software does not create the designer. Rather, the designer utilizes that software to execute. The real genius lies up here. I always tell them if Photoshop were to disappear today, if the Adobe company were to disappear, would you still be a designer? I also give them the example, hey, take it all away and give me Microsoft Paint and give me Microsoft Word again and I'll be able to create some awesome designs still. You see, design and the design process is not dictated by the tools we use. Yes, tools help a lot and help us become a lot more efficient, but ideas and plans are executed by having the right plan and structure in place. This brings me to the four stages of creativity that was taught to me a long time ago. Four stages that anyone could unlock, learn, use to execute any idea. Stage number one is called the preparation stage. This is a stage that most people call warming up. It can also be the research stage. For example, if you're a musician, this first stage, maybe you want to write a song or want to create an album, you start by listening to what's out there. You start by listening to the music that's out there. Maybe you start playing with a couple of chords on your guitar or on your piano and just start let the creative juices flow. Just start gathering ideas. Don't worry about structuring something solid at this point. Just worry about creating something, about doing the research at this point. Understanding what's on the market, understanding what other musicians are doing, understanding the trends and what's popular. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Which leads to stage number two, which is called the incubation stage. Now this stage is the most interesting stage and the most dangerous stage at that. Sometimes as a designer or as a musician, I, I run into this creative wall where I've done all the research, but I don't know where to go from there or I don't know how to structure from there. Sometimes it's best to just walk away from the project, walk away, do something else for a while and come back to it. Let those ideas marinate in the brain a little bit. You could go to the movies, you could go for some coffee. The reason I say the incubation stage could be the most dangerous stage is because sometimes you could dwell in this stage. Sometimes you need to walk away and it could be as easy as going for a cup of coffee, coming back and boom, the idea hits. Or sometimes you could spend days on this quest, this incubation stage and some people just get stuck there forever. The idea about the incubation stage is not just to go out and relax, but to go do other things that might trigger something in your, in your brain. One thing that I always tell my students is that if you go walk away for a bit, go to the movies, go do something, but always keep the design in the back of your head. Sometimes you could just be at a movie and in the back of your mind you have that project and maybe you see something in the screen and go, aha, that's it. Which leads me to stage number three, which is the illumination stage. Now this is the quickest stage in this process. This is the aha moment. Well, we as designers and musicians and creatives and business owners strive for. This is where the journey, this is the end of the journey kind of. Where we discover that, that moment. Where we've been in the incubation stage for so long and then boom, it hits us, oh yes, that was that. Or that's how it should be. Or that's what I should do. Sometimes it could happen really fast. For example, the other day I was trying to create a design and I had all the ideas, I did my preparation and nothing was clicking. I'm like, okay, I know what I want to convey. I know what I want to uh, say. I just can't put the pieces together. I can't put anything into place. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to walk away a little bit from this design. And literally from when I stood up 
from my computer outside of my studio, boom, illumination, it hit me right away. I'm like, oh yes, you know what? I did this one time, that'll work for this project. And I immediately ran back into the studio and finished that design project. That's how sometimes a quick illumination stage could be, which leads me to stage number four, implementation. Now this is my favorite stage. This is the stage where we all wanna to get to. We wanna get all the work out of the way sometimes and get to this final stage where we're actually doing the work we love. We're implementing the work, we're designing the work, where we're writing that song, we're building that building, we're painting that room, we're painting that painting, we're cooking that food. We get to the stage where as creatives and as just people in general, we wanna to get to, where we're actually doing the work we enjoy to do. And that's the implementation stage. So again, really fast, the four stages. One, preparation. Preparation where you're doing all the grunt work and research. Two, incubation. The incubation stage where you're letting your ideas marinate in your mind and you're just letting it sit there for a moment, waiting to see where it's gonna go. The third stage, illumination, the aha moments that we all strive for, that, oh yes, that eureka moment. Yes, that's the idea. Which leads to the last stage, stage number four, the implementation stage. This is where we actually do the work that we care about, the work that we believe matters, to later then deliver that final result. So I encourage you, whatever project you're taking on, be it a design project, be it building construction, be it, be it you're working on a car, you're working on landscape, you're working on building cabinets, whatever the case may be, I encourage you to take these four stages into your life. And they don't have to be this, it doesn't have to be this, tedious thing. These four stages don't have to be very tedious. Like I said, it happened to me in a matter of maybe five minutes sometimes, but I had those four stages in my mind where I got to one, two, three, four, that I was able to implement my idea. So I encourage you to take those stages. And if there's anything else you want to add, just like another step, let me know in the comments below or send me a direct message. Let me know, what do you do? What's your process? How do you get your ideas out? I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. 